All right, everyone, welcome back. All right, guys, so if you haven't checked out the last episode, this is what we built. We have this lovely little silo over here. I see you. You are not going to sneak up on me today. Boom. There we go. All right, and as you can tell by the thumbnail of today's video, we are going to be working over here at one of these islands. So if we head past this villager trading boat, as you can see that guy over there, we have this lovely little island. And so the story behind this one is actually pretty interesting. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was touring this world to a friend of mine on Discord, and he saw this island and asked if it was a turtle. That is right. So if we fly up here and take a look, you can see this island somewhat looks like a turtle from the side. So if we head over to our lovely little boat over here, you can see it kind of naturally has the shape of a turtle. So what I thought we would do is actually go ahead and take this thing and transform it into a turtle. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a big project. I wouldn't consider myself extremely skilled when it comes to making, um, I think you call them organics in Minecraft, right? I've heard that word tossed around a few times, so I'm not exactly the best when it comes to building that kind of thing, but I figured it would be fun to try it out. So that is going to be today's task. And uh, I say we go ahead and we get started on this thing and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But just before I do that, I wanted to show you guys one thing. I have been working on this castle a little bit off camera, so I actually ended up designing the gate right here. So you can see how this has turned out. The reason I've been working on it off camera is because it's been a very slow process. This took me about an hour and a half just to make this little section right here. And I'll explain uh, what I did if we step back and take a look because uh, it's not as complex as it seems so, uh, so you can see i filled in this whole area here added this window and then ended up bringing this section down and extending the roof back so the reason if you're asking why that took me over an hour and a half is because i was just kind of messing around with different styles here and different shapes and this is what i ended up finding works the best with that uh, but there is some stuff like i want to add a window in here uh, so maybe we'll do that in a future episode but basically what you're going to see as the series goes on and we, as I continue uploading episodes, you're going to see a lot of these windows just get filled in. And then eventually, once I have the exterior finished, we'll go inside and work on the interior together. But you can tell a lot of this is just going to be me filling in windows. And basically, here's my plan. So uh, this is obviously the head of the turtle. And what I'm going to do is kind of shave this island down a little bit. And we are going to kind of transform this thing into a stone turtle because i don't want it to be uh the natural minecraft colors uh so i would like for it to be uh what you can see i've grabbed here so i have andesite and i have tough and so basically what i'm picturing is the gradient for the bottom of the turtle that is in the water and maybe one or two blocks extending up from the water level is going to be this and uh, this is the tough block. And then as we work our way up to what is more exposed uh, land, we are going to use andesite blocks as well. So uh, the reason I've chose these is just because it's darker and they kind of have a similar texture. And then I was thinking maybe we could try something like this as well for the water because that has a nice dark color as well. So um, yeah, this is going to be a lot of resource gathering, a lot of placing blocks around and doing all sorts of little things regarding that and it's going to take a while so uh we'll just kind of see where this goes today i don't know if i'm going to be able to finish this all in one day because this is a big project but i think it's going to look really cool so um i say let's just get started with it let's just go all right as you can see i'm in my office and that's because we have some of our first donators so again thank you so so much to anyone who has done that the names that i'm about to read uh that is very very generous of you so we have uh madeline parks with five dollars thank you very much for your contribution that is greatly appreciated and christopher persibali for three dollars again thank you guys so much for doing that you really did not have to and uh, that does mean a lot so thank you for your donations uh the link is in the description if you guys would like to contribute and as i mentioned uh if you donate twenty dollars or more you will uh, have your name assigned to a villager or mob in this world so you will be stapled in here forever and as I discussed, um, this is just where I've put it for now because we haven't made the build yet, but we are going to have a whole section 
dedicated to the donators so you guys will have your uh, stuff available uh in the videos and we can uh head there quite a bit and add your guys' names to the book um but as for now i would like to get continued with the build here so and let's start working on this thing so you can see the shape of it as we approach any second now there you go so uh we just kind of have to re shape this thing a little bit because it's a little sideways as i'm doing this i am just now realizing how uh massive of a project this is this is ridiculously huge and is going to take a very long time to finish so um, i don't know when this video is going to come out but it's going to take me a lot longer than I originally anticipated to do this. But um, I'll show you guys how uh, I was going to do the planning part, which is what I'm doing right now, which is um, making that skeletal mesh again. So I'm just kind of making a guide for myself to visualize what the actual like 3D shape is going to look like. And we also have to remember we're not going to see it from this side most likely so um we don't need to worry about how this side looks all that much it's really the other side that's more important so you can kind of see how i've laid this out if we take a further step back you'll understand a little better what i mean so you can see i'm kind of making like this skeleton almost of how this is going to look because that'll be easier for us to then fill in all of the spots the hardest part though is going to be the shell right because that is a much more uh massive thing but i think it it's definitely got to start around right there all right so as i step away now you can see kind of the shape that we were going for i'd like to have another line over there diagonally so we have a little bit more of a reference but you can kind of get what we're going with now uh but obviously a sea turtle um I guess you wouldn't really call it legs, right? They're not really legs. They're more like fins. Uh, they have those. And so we would need one right there. And then we would need one in the back here. So that's what I'm going to build next. And I think we're going to build that out of deep slate. So we've got some mining we got to do, which is going to take a bit. Um, so time to head down below my house and start digging away. Okie dokie, after all that digging, I've got a full shulker worth of deep slate, which is going to be our block that we are going to use for the bottom. Uh, but as you can see, as it loads in here, we've got that rough shape, but we do need to make its little flippers, which is going to be uh, a little bit of a challenge, I think. This is probably going to be the hardest part for me. So, all right, after an investigative image search, that was really hard to say. Um, <laughs> I have seeing how this works now so uh, i think i'm just gonna extend this a little bit i don't want it to be completely mirrored right um but they've got quite the large flipper here so uh, i think i'm gonna go um down in some way I, i'm honestly i'm just gonna like make a line like this and just keep going down and um i think it's gonna be somewhat of that size right there that's pretty decent. Maybe one more. Maybe like... Oops, not there. Um, maybe something like this, I think, should be fine. And then uh, we'll take this side and connect this. And so we'll just kind of do the same thing here. So we'll hop down. And now we'll just figure out how large I made this. So I think it was like that. And then we'll do something like this here. And keep kind of moving that line downwards and connecting it at this uh, point right here. So I'm going to have to take a step back and have a look at this and see if that's what I was going for. Um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty okay. That looks very much like a flipper, if you ask me. So now we got to do a little one in the back. Okay, that's that first section done. I just need to take a step back and have a look at it because I'm not exactly sure uh, what it even looks like from far away. So if we have a look, okay, that's pretty decent. I hope I didn't make the head too large. Um, I think that's fine. This is, you have to remember, this is where we see it the most, right? We see it from this perspective. So that's really what matters. Um, so I think I'm going to put the eye 
somewhere along this region right here, and we're going to build that together. I just wish it wasn't raining. I do have to admit, I am not a fan of rain in Minecraft. I wish I could just turn it all off. I'll go 10% on the weather so it's not overpowering me talking. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to build this eye together. And what I'm going to do is use tough. I think I'm going to use this block, actually. I am not going to use the regular tough block um, because I want it to look like it was like engraved. Um, and so I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let's take a step back. And let's figure out exactly where we're going to put it because we don't want to mess this up. So um, I think probably right here uh, so I can see it. So um, I'm thinking something like this. So whoops, fell down there. If we hop up. Um, I think I'm going to put it right here. Am I holding the right pickaxe? Yes. Okay, so we're going to do something like this to start. And so now we have a nice cross. Didn't mean to put that there. That's supposed to go in there. Um, and I actually am going to move this back one because this is going to go like this. And then I'm going to take these darker blocks here. I can switch those. There we go. And uh, what I'm going to do is kind of place these around the outside like this. Uh, let's see how that would go. Something like that, I think. And uh, we can take that, kind of just line the outside of it like this. Um, and I think that is what I want to do for the eye. So something like that, I think, will work very nice for us. So if we take a step back, uh, we'll have that nice kind of gradient in there. So uh, there we go. We've got something like that. I could use another one right there now that I see it. Um, and so we can just add that in very quickly because again this turtle is a stone right it's not a living creature so it doesn't need to have a super lively eye so something like that is fine uh because you'll see um this is our darkest block of the palette this deep slate so we can go in here and fill this in that noise just scared me okay this is why I grabbed all of this tough, is because this is a very important block for the base of this build. So you can see I went with a uh, deep slate on the parts that are underwater, but I want to have a transition as well. So what I'm going to do is basically, um, it seems counterintuitive because I just placed this, but it's just much easier to visualize things uh, when I do it that way. And so what I mean is now I can go in and break all those blocks that I placed and start placing uh, the tough as this intermediate layer. And what I'm going to do is basically after I place all this tough and have it line the perimeter, I'm going to kind of like seep it in a little bit so we can do it right here. So you can see what I'm talking about is um, I'm going to go through here and kind of just make a very gentle gradient just like this uh, with this tough block if we could switch this right here and you can see just kind of have something like that and just have it bleed in a little bit uh, we'll extend that one all the way up and you can see now it's kind of got that nice little layer right there so I want to do this for all the blocks underneath here and so kind of just replace all this stuff and have it like overhang so uh, I'll do that after I finish the perimeter so what I'm going to do is just dig out this bottom layer and then walk all the way across and line it with tough. Okay, so now that that perimeter is finished, you can see how we've done that, uh, which is now why I have this deep slate in here, because this deep slate is going to be our final block, which connects the island to the sand. So I have a whole shulker's worth of this stuff, and I'm just going to basically line this whole thing yet again. And uh, these are the sacrifices we have to make in order to make a good building, right? You need a lot of materials and a lot of place and blocks, especially when you do these giant organic type builds. So uh, this is gonna take a while. So again, I'm gonna cut it up and show you once I'm finished. Okay, so now this is the tricky part here. So you can see we have the fins, but we have, uh, this is where the shell is gonna be, but then there's this spacing in between here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of take some tough and just kind of like, lead it in there. I think that's the best way to make that transition. Um, I might actually 
now that I think about it, just place some cobblestone in the top layer here. So I might only do the tough on uh, these two blocks right here, and then we'll use cobblestone on the top just to kind of ease that transition in a bit. Uh, we just need this to kind of go from this ocean layer up to the actual shell itself, which is always uh, was always going to be a difficult part that I needed to figure out. So I think that's the best way to go about doing this. You can see how I'm just kind of lining this right here nothing too crazy so uh it's coming along well but definitely proving to be a longer build than usual all right how does that look yeah that's pretty good that's about what i was envisioning so now comes the hard part we have got to do the shell over here so this is easily the most difficult part of this um and basically my plan is to line up this shell with dirt and then place moss and we are going to replace all of the dirt with the moss by bone mealing it i think this is the best way to kind of fill this up instead of using stone because it's going to give it a really nice um kind of natural looking texture which i think is what i want for this so uh it's going to take a while but i'm Luckily, I've got plenty of dirt, so I'm going to probably spend the next two and a half hours <laughs> filling this in. Uh, I don't really have a plan or method of how I'm going to do it. I'm kind of just going to do it as I go and eyeball it. So I probably won't include that much of me filling this in. So it's going to take a while. So I'll see you guys uh, once I have pretty much completed filling this in. All right. So as we fly away, you guys will now see my original plan of what this was supposed to look like, but you can see all the andesite got, uh, all mixed up now. So what I'm going to do is kind of create another <laughs> shell again. Uh, so that was a big old waste of andesite, but that's fine. We can always, uh, just make it work. All right. So my next thing is, uh, as you open up this, you can see I've got a ton of oak leaves and some cherry leaves as well. I actually think it'd be really nice. So we don't need any of that stuff. So that can all, uh, get out of there. And I'm basically going to go through and on the corners, I am going to place a lot of these blocks. This is really just going to help emphasize that, um, you know, very natural bush feeling type thing. And, um, I learned this trick from whip back in the day, putting bushes on the corners like this. That really helps with uh, making stuff look a little bit more natural. So I am going to uh, complete this for a while and we'll just keep adding more and more stuff to make it look more natural. All right, I'm going in. I am going in there and this is going to get very ugly. Let's see. Oh, I was like, what is all of those quarter lights? It's the uh, the leaves extending through the block. All right, we've already got some guys to deal with. Okay, please do not shoot me. Where are you? Whoa. All right, that should be all of that taken care of. I don't think anything else can spawn down in here now. Um... I do, I think, want to hollow it out eventually. We can add something in here. So leave some suggestions in the comments of what I could turn this into because I really don't have any idea uh, what I could turn this into. I didn't really go into this planning to actually build uh, something inside of the island. I just kind of wanted to transform this island into whatever it became. So uh, now what I want to do is make a custom tree and then we are going to end it off there. I feel like... This really needs some sort of a giant tree on it. So, all right. So now if we head over here and where did I place that block right there? So I just want to make a few uh, palm trees in here. Nothing crazy. Uh, I'm just going to have this one kind of, um, I think I'm going to tilt it this way for one. So kind of make it go up like that. And then I'm going to tilt it this way again. And then this is where I'm going to build uh, the actual palms. Um, so I have some oak leaves on me to do this. And this is going to be a little trickier than I thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend them three. So this is going to be where one is, obviously. And then we'll have another one going this way. We'll make four of them to start. Um, I think, uh, because they need to go downwards, right? So I'm going to make it <laughs> a lot better than this. This is kind of just like the um, 
Do I have scaffolding? That would be very helpful right now. I believe I do. Thought this through a little better. Now that we're up there, you can see kind of the design that I'm going for. Um, but I want it to be a little bit more pronounced. So what I meant was having uh, that go out three and then down one. And now that we're down a layer, we can go out. Really? All right. Well, it would be helpful if I could pay attention to what I'm doing. So <laughs> we went out three again. And then I think I'm going to go like this and then droop it down one like that. So we'll take a look from down here. So um, the reason I'm going to do that is we're going to have uh, a few little ones butting out right here. So um, we're going to extend the width of this as well. So I went, I went three and then three and then two and then two. Okay, so that's a very easy pattern to remember. So we just got to... Remember three, three, two, two. So that was three, 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 right? Yep. And then two and two. And there we go. We have that all symmetrical. And so then if we hop up here, we can actually do this part of the tree. So I'm going to go under one block and surround the whole thing. All right, so you can see it's got a lovely little palm tree over there now. I think we could actually improve the transition spots a little better. So if I switch up what I've got here, uh, what I mean is just kind of like taking this point and this point and doing something like this. That way they kind of blend a little bit better, you know, and it looks a little more, um, a little more cool that way. So I would love uh, one more. I would actually, honestly, I want this to be like a little more... Like maybe this one goes down here and maybe this one, maybe these guys can go like this and that can go like that. So it looks a little bit more natural, a little more droopy. Uh, I still want to extend that top bit up there. That wasn't the way I have it now. It wasn't exactly how I was envisioning it. I was picturing a little more like kind of crazy at the top. So just kind of something like this, widen it up a little bit and, uh, I think that should be fine if we do something like that. That looks like a little bit more natural of a palm tree, I would say. So uh, I don't know if I want more than one, actually. So let's fly around and let's see what it looks like. It's a little hard. I think the best way to do this is if we stand down here on top of this boat and take a look at it. Because this is where we're going to see it, see it from the most. And I say I would really enjoy that the way it is. I think the one tree there actually looks pretty cool. Um, so the final detail I'm going to add to this whole thing is I'm going to make some rocks. So I am going to find a point. Uh, I think right here is actually a good place to build a rock. So I'm going to do something like that. And we're going to start dark at the bottom. So something like this. And I'm just going to round off the edges just a little bit like this right here. And then as we work our way up the rock, I am going to no longer use those blocks. And I am going to use the top. And I think just something as simple as that kind of breaks up that whole uh, grass texture we have going on. And it adds a lot. So uh, I think I'm going to build another one. I want to um, make the little ones first before I make a big one. So I wanted to put another one maybe right here, like on the neck or something. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to make this one very small. It doesn't need to be that big. I'm going to kind of honestly make it like engraved into the side of this. And so I think like that. And then we can place those and then have the tough here. Uh, I actually want to just round this off just a little bit like so. And we can do that. And then maybe one right there. And then do something like this, right? Kind of just randomly scatter it and hope it all, hopefully it all lines up nicely. I think that's okay. And then maybe droop that down in there. So it's got like a little, a little rock or something right in there. Uh, the next thing I would like to do though is make a big rock. And I want to put it over on this side. I want it to be visible so this one is gonna it's kind of gonna be like a circle so um it, it's gonna be like a circle but tall if that makes sense so kind of do something like this i think is what i want so something like that 
and then build it up. Wish I had more blocks on me, but I don't, so. All right, so now we can uh, build it up. I'm just gonna kind of do what I did with the silo, honestly, in that gradient, if you can picture that. Something like that. Doesn't need to be too crazy or anything, so just something like that, and then just carry it up like so. Very nice and simple, very easy to do. So now we should end up with something like this. And then I'm going to take uh, the stairs that I have and just kind of bring everything in on itself like this. And that's going to make the point of the rock by doing this right here. So then we can kind of all uh, uniform in a way, bring it in like this which is going to give us a very natural looking rock in my opinion. So I don't know, maybe we can just make it look a little more, a little more like that. And you can always use the slabs as well to kind of break up um, the top of full blocks and make it look a little more natural. So uh, I think that should look good in my opinion. If we fly from a distance, uh, it should look quite nice. So we have that rock over there now. All right. So I hope that just by putting these in here like this, this will kind of emphasize the fin a little bit more. I really, really hope so because I want that fin to be uh, a very important piece of this. Very vital that the fin is visible. So I'm hoping that this will fix that issue, which I think it will. So we can just kind of place them over here on the corners like that and that'll light it up, especially at night. It's definitely going to work, but uh, in the daytime, it obviously is not the easiest thing to see in the world. I might add one at the nose here, just like that. All right, I would say that's about it for our Sea Turtle Island. I think that's all I can do pretty much now. I can't think of really anything else that I need to add. So I'm actually really happy with how that came out. I think it looks super cool. And it was uh, originally a pretty unique idea as well. So shout out to uh, the person that thought that this island was a turtle that was a pretty big makeover though that took me about four and a half to five hours to complete that so it took quite a while but uh, i am very happy with how that came out so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and as per usual it is time to answer the comment of the day so let's head to that all right so today's comment of the day comes from grassy hills 202 that's a interesting little name there i like that one so uh they say i love your builds they have so much pop and color if you don't mind can you give me some building tips since i'm not really a good builder of course i can give you some building tips let's head over to my main base and i'll point some things out all right so as we head over here i think some good building tips to start with are to make sure that you're not always building in squares so it obviously depends on what type of thing you're building in minecraft Nowadays, we are so spoiled with block palettes that we have unlimited choices to choose from when it comes to making different types of sounds. Sounds? That's not the word I'm looking for. Different types of builds. And so uh, here is a great example of how to become a better builder in Minecraft is using different shapes. So you can see I haven't built in a square in this type of build, even though we started off, if you watch the episode of when I built this, uh, we started off with an L shape, but I did a lot of work to make it not that shape. So you can see for the roof, as an example, you can see it's an upside down V, but I use little features like this stuff right here, protruding from the roof to break up that V shape. And then little things like this right here, you can see I've made a rock to uh, kind of this corner is very awkward without the rock. So by adding this rock here, your eyes are kind of uh, they don't really focus on this. They're more focused on this up here and they forget that the fact that this is very square down here. So I would say my biggest three tips for building are to one, make sure that you're not building in squares. You want your uh, builds to have lots of shapes. So experiment with ovals, circles. You can see I've kind of made like an archway here, um, different types of shapes. And if you are building a square to make it interesting, like I've done here, like this building is a square, but I've added lots of little things on the outside of it and different shapes to the door to make it appear as if it's not a square the other thing is what materials you are using make sure you pick colors that match well together like you can see these 
all match well together as well as white and blue is a very common color combination there. And so that's why I've chosen to do that. And also I would say the last thing is to look for inspiration. It's definitely important not to copy somebody's build. Like nothing that I have in this world has been copied from anybody. But what I do have is things that have been inspired from other people. So I see a lot of pictures online or I see buildings in real life. And I just try to kind of make my own variations of that. So um, a lot of it just comes from practicing and building, right? I've been playing this game for over 10 years now. <laughs> so I've got lots and lots of experience in it. And it just takes time to understand how to build in the right shapes and whatnot but as we fly over to our island i think that's going to be it for today i hope you guys really enjoyed that episode i'm pretty happy with how our sea turtle island turned out anyways that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed our sea turtle build and uh, thank you to all the donators and all the new subscribers and i will catch you guys in the next episode peace out